Well, we begin with breaking news we've been following since 4 o'clock. Two off-duty Harris County deputies injured in a motorcycle crash, one of them critically. New tonight, police telling us they have arrested the driver who caused that crash, 22-year-old Nathan Robinson Jr. Our Jonathan Martinez is joining us live now at Bentop Hospital with the details. Jonathan? Guys, and tonight one of those deputies remains here in serious but stable condition at Bentob Hospital. And we do know at least one suspect has been arrested. He is now facing two counts of failure to stop and render aid, although he at least was arrested. They were wanted and for nearly four hours on the run before finally being caught. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says 21-year-old Nathan Macklin Robinson Jr. and a passenger in the car were responsible for hitting Deputy Jeremy Thomas and Sergeant Chris Garza who were on their motorcycles. Moments later, the suspects ditched the car and took off. It's hard to understand why people uh, make it worse on themselves by running from the scene. The crash happened near the busy intersection of Homestead and Old Humble Road Friday afternoon when the deputies were off duty. That's when investigators say the pair of suspects in this black Chevy Impala crashed into them. There was a bus parked in the turn lane and the suspect went around the bus through the intersection causing this motor vehicle accident. The two deputies were sent to the hospital with broken bones, head injuries, and more. One said to be okay, the other in more serious condition. The prognosis is good. He should be able to recover uh, from his injuries. He's still in, in serious condition and will be in an ICU intensive care for a couple days at least, but it's looking very promising. The sheriff now asking for prayers for both deputies as they continue to recover. We always thank our community for the support. We receive messages of encouragement and uh, we really appreciate the support for law enforcement. At last check, deputies tell us they have not arrested that second person involved in this case. They are asking anyone who may have witnessed that crash to give them a call. We are reporting live tonight from the Med Center. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.